Hi, this is John, and welcome back. I'm going to show you today my garage gym. I'm going to take you all the way around the room and show you the equipment that I have, and in some cases, the reasons why I chose it. Uh, it has a lot to do with my personality and the fact that my family uses this. So, you see me standing right next to the number one piece, the go-to piece in my garage. It's bolted to the ground. This is a heavy duty commercial grade squat rack. It can be used for squats, it can be used for doing bench presses, uh, rack pulls, chin ups up top. You see I have a chinning bar up top on top of this as well. It's just the model. Uh, I obtained this from a local high school that was remodeling and they gave it to me for cheap. I'm talking about uh, $100 for this as well as uh, some of the other yellow pieces that you're about to see me show you as I walk around the room. But underneath, you'll notice I have some flooring, some rubber flooring I obtained at a local uh, horse feed store uh, where they use this rubber matting for the horses in the stables. So I got a hold of some heavy duty matting and I cut it up and I can move it around the room wherever I place a barbell or dumbbells. So it's very convenient. Along with that, you see I have a flat bench. Uh, of course, I can thank Foothill Gym for that. I'm going to thank some people along the way. It was donated from Foothill Gym. Uh, straight love for Foothill Gym. A mirror as well. And as I go around the room, you'll see on my rack, I have some trusty muscle clamp clamps for the barbells. Uh, these guys right here are great for the ends of the barbells. You see that most commercial gyms have them these days. Pretty inexpensive, about 30 bucks. And on the floor beneath, you'll notice I have a barbell right here. That's my main barbell that we use. I got a hold of that barbell for somewhere around 70 bucks online on Amazon. You can get a heavy duty barbell for anywhere from 50 or $40 up to 150. So it's a mid range one. It's gauged to lift some heavy weight. And so I'm comfortable with that as well. So as I'm over here in the corner, you'll see I mentioned the yellow equipment, just like the squat rack here. When I went to the local high school to pick up this squat rack, uh, the athletic director was extremely late, and when he was late, he promised me he would take care of me. And so he gave me an additional weight tree, an additional adjustable bench as well. And you'll see on the floor behind me that these plates, I got a hold of these plates, they've all been given to me from friends, from gyms that were going out of business. There are 100 pound plates, four of them, loaded up right up against the wall and then 45 pound plates four of them in front of those this is plenty of weight for anybody who would be using my garage uh, i'm not the strongest guy in the world but i can use a decent amount of weight uh, but that's the heaviest that we'll ever need for now in this garage and you'll see i also have some additional plates which i picked up at a local sporting goods store you can get great used plates for 25 to 50 cents a pound. Uh, the new ones are $1 a pound. So these 10 pound plates, they were bought brand new. I needed a few of those. So I just slowly added to my collection. And you'll see loaded on this bench, this adjustable bench that was given to me by that athletic director, that there are a couple of what are called turbo belts. And these are sort of along the lines uh, of, of Forgot the name of them. Forgive me, I forgot the name of them. Uh, so they're adjustable dumbbells. So I can key it up to whatever weight I want to use, heavy or light. I can adjust them like this. And I can pick up five or 10 pounds. And then they slide neatly back in place. So everything from five pounds up to 55 pounds, I have located right here, along with some additional smaller free weight dumbbells three pounders up to 15 pounds. And then you'll see on the floor over here, I have all of my dumbbells. Again, thank you Foothill Gym in Monrovia, California. When they remodeled their gym, they blessed me and blessed us with some really great commercial grade metal dumbbells. 
everything from 60 pounds up to 100 pounds. I have full set dumbbells as well as an extra set of 25s over there. Uh, the shelving behind these dumbbells, you'll see, it's filled with gadgets of all time types. Everything from bands. So up until now, let me back up a step. Up until now, I've only spent a grand total of $100, $70, $30, about $200 I've spent on my garage. But everything up to here has been given to me. So I thank God for that, and I thank all the people who have contributed to our home gym right here. The shelving behind me, you'll see we have everything from bands of all sizes that we can use for various things, uh, micro bands, uh, all of the accessories that you see me using in all of our videos from dip chinning belt to the pads for the hip thrusters. Uh, we also have stacked up here chalk, lifting chalk. We need that. And then I have some additional clamps, Lockjaw Pro clamps. These are as good, even better, than the other version right over here, the muscle clamps. So muscle clamps are easier to put on. Lock jaws, those are locked on. They do not come off no matter what. And they're hard to break as well. So all the other accessories you see up here from the grippers to the different handles to the different barbells that I have, easy curl bar, a pull down bar, I, I use on other pieces of equipment here in the garage. So you're about to see all of it. Uh, various handles all the way across belts that belong to my wife, my son, uh, gloves that belong to my wife, my kids, uh, boxing gloves for our heavy bag that we have in the storage room. So some of the odds and ends that we have as well as, up over here I have my neck harness hanging that I do my neck exercises on. So I'm sharing with you everything that I have, all of the things that are on this shelf. A few of them did cost about $30 each. I've spent a grand total of about $120 on everything that's up on the shelving. So really, in essence, I've spent about $320, $350 on everything going up to the end of the shelving. So at that point, we're looking pretty good, not bad. A home gym with just this alone would be pretty good, but I have more. And the more is I have a cross aerobics machine here in the garage. And you'll see in the video how this cross aerobics machine is used. That cross aerobics can be used for either cardio work, you know, fat burning, or it can be used for some higher intensity interval work. There's a weight stack attached to it. And you'll see in the video, oh, you just did see, how it hovers. So heavier weight, more weight on the legs, a little bit more intense, shorter bursts of intense work right there. So it's a great piece of equipment. And once again, thank you to Foothill Gym. That piece was given to me when they remodeled sections of Foothill Gym. So you get any idea of Foothill Gym? I have a great favor with Foothill Gym. They're like family to me in Monrovia, California. <laughs> so right next to it, once again, we have a piece that was given to us to buy Foothill Gym. It's a MaxiCam cable setup, and as you can see, it goes to various angles. It's sort of like your most popular gym cable setups these days. It has various handles for each end of it, and it goes up and down as well. So you can see all the way down to the ground and then all the way up near the top. So it's a great piece of equipment, multi-use. We can use it for many exercises. So the cable machine with some nice heavy weight stacks on it. So even the strongest can use it in our house, in our garage. So uh, I also have been given some great exercise pads. These donated again from Foothill Gym when they remodeled. So I really do appreciate it. And this equipment right here, uh, you don't think much about it, but floor exercises, it really helps out. You'll see in some of my other videos how I do my stretches, and I do use these mats uh, quite a bit, and so do the rest of the family. 
So I leave them usually stacked up right next to the garage, uh, the garage door. And then right next to that, I have a commercial grade pre-core elliptical. This came from a local police department that was, again, remodeling their gym. And they were taking bids on the equipment. They were selling the entire group of equipment. So the gym, once again, Foothill Gym, when they made a bid on that equipment, I was asked if I wanted to jump in on it, if I needed anything specifically. And they did not need all of the elliptical machines that they had at the gym. So I wanted one. So I put in a bid for it at $100. So right now we're at about $350, $370. This bad boy right here, which works really well, uh, is fully tuned up, costed $100 for me. We, we got that bid and I pulled my truck up and they loaded up the brand new pre-core elliptical machine. I say brand new, of course it's been reconditioned to be just like new. So this elliptical machine, we put some great miles on it and it works very, very well. So I have even more as I make my way around the room, you're about to see. So I have right next to our elliptical machine, we don't use the incline bench over here specifically. You'll notice the middle of my room, I need space, okay? I'm a minimalist, technically, people would call me. I don't like clutter, I don't like everything piled on top of each other, so I need space. So to make space, I've emptied out the entire garage, save for the shelving right here, and we keep some of the benches along the walls. So it stays neat, it stays clean. This is an adjustable incline bench, again, donated with that flat bench that you saw under my squat rack from Foothill Gym. So when they remodeled gym, I inherited that bench. Right over here next to the bench, whoo, this piece right here, Hear that? This is some heavy gauge metal right here. Joe Gold. Joe Gold himself. That's Joe Gold who created Gold's Gym. Joe Gold who also in 1976 created World Gym. Joe Gold made this calf block. And it was a standard piece of equipment in World Gym in Marina Del Rey. Well, also when it was in Venice. But as Joe was getting older and then he passed, his attorney, Mike Uritz, took over World Gym, and he knew that I used this piece of equipment a lot. It's my favorite calf block. Heavy gauge, wide enough, barely moves, and he saw that I liked it, so when the gym was about to close, he told me, take it, it's yours. So I have the original calf block that Joe Gold made. So there it is, and I use it for donkey calf raises again. You can check out some of my earlier videos and you'll see how we use this calf block. Uh, excuse the mess, or I should say empty shelves behind me with a few things up on top. As we make our way across, I have my standard wipes. We need these things to wipe off the benches when we're done. We don't leave sweat lying around. Bose speaker to hook up to the Bluetooth. My tripod for shooting great videos for you guys. And then a few towels up in here. This guy in my garage, this freezer, this is for extra meat and anything we want to freeze in addition to what we keep in the little freezer in our refrigerator in the house. So this freezer uh, was given to us. So right now, in, in the entire garage, I've spent under $400. Uh, I've not exceeded that. So everything was given to us. You know, it's been a real blessing from people who thought of us. And then, uh, fan, of course, because we're in Southern California, and it can get pretty hot in this garage, man, in the summertime, shoot, even sometimes in the winter. So, a high-speed fan. As I make my way into the corner, I'm going to pull this out. I have a mirror behind me. I keep an extra barbell. And this came donated to me, again, from that high school, when that athletic director showed up late. He gave me not only an extra weight tree, an adjustable bench, the squat rack that I had shown up to purchase, but he also gave me my choice of any of the barbells that they had and they were pretty much going to be selling off or giving away, I'm not sure, but he gave it to me. 
So I have an additional 45 pound Olympic bar that I keep stacked in the corner with my broom to sweep up the floor. But that's it. In my garage gym, you just saw it all. I spent under $400 and piece by piece, I added things to it. It was as barren as could be in the beginning with just the squat rack, this barbell, the adjustable bench, and those plates. And that was all we had and all we worked with. But piece by piece with patience over the course of, oh, about a year, all of these pieces came in and it's a great, great garage gym to use. So I hope you enjoyed this today. From my heart to you, John Hart, this is exactly the place where I do most of my training and I train my entire family. God bless you and have a great day. Thank you for watching. Please hit the subscribe button below before you leave.